All right, so let's uh, let's take a quick look here. Um, I'm going to do a quick review on Builderall, and so I'm coming from basically working with uh, ClickFunnels for the last year and a half. Um, I've also used Thrive Themes. I've used um, various other WordPress builders, uh, web website builders, not so much funnel builders. Um, and uh, Beaver Builder for WordPress is probably my favorite. Um, it's not perfect. It's it's. Um, I, I will say, ClickFunnels has really come a long way. Um, so uh, let's keep this in mind here. Builderall appears to have launched in the last couple of months. So um, you know, I I think that they're on the right track. Um, the user experience, um, the user interface hasn't been great. Um, there's some things that I have sort of struggled with. It's got a lot of features, which is nice. Um, it, it's got a lot, you know, you go in here, you create all kinds of stuff. So I, I think in some ways it does maybe more than ClickFunnels. And uh, we'll just have to see where, where they, you know, how, how they develop the, the application. Um, I think it's got promise. Um, and I, I would say, let me just show you something here I put together. I spent about, you know, five to ten minutes just kind of putting something together. Didn't really try to polish it or anything like that. Um, so you've got here uh, the page. And I think I'm in a preview mode here. So you can kind of preview it in tablet mode. Whoa, what in the world's going on? Um, so this part worked out okay. And again, I used their template and then just kind of modified it a little bit. And I just kind of moved things around as I thought, you know, you should. Um, you basically can drag and drop things. Um, and so it looks real funky there. Um, the padding is just like all over the place here for mobile. So um, again, you know, I'm not super used to this. I also don't understand why this is over here. I guess maybe it's maybe something's unchecked for mobile. I, I don't know. Um, like I said, I, I, I literally didn't try to like figure a bunch of stuff out. I just intuitively kind of dove in. So I'll show you another couple things here. Let's go to desktop. Again, like with WordPress, this stuff has kind of been fleshed out and it works out pretty, pretty easily. Um, there's not a whole lot to do. So, yeah, I mean, I just kind of moved this stuff around, which is nice in theory. Uh, the only bad part is, you know, I don't have like a good ability to know if this is, you know, exactly centered. I guess you can kind of turn this on and, and use that. Um, it's still kind of a pain. Be great if they had something that kind of lined you up here. Um, so you'll see that in some of the different tools. Uh, Canva has it and, uh, and that sort of thing. So um, again, like it's a pretty amazing application for basically only being open a month. Um, I made a quick sort of just punch list of sort of pros and cons uh, versus ClickFunnels. And, you know, I think the pros are obviously it's lower cost. Um, I've got the uh, the all in version, two ninety seven a month. Um, so you know that's nearly four thousand dollars a month um, for a software, um, but it allows me to pretty much run all the campaigns uh, quickly, duplicate campaigns and things like that. Um, I'm assuming there's some kind of feature like that on here. Again, I haven't dug into that piece yet. Um, so it, it does look like it has lots of features. Um, it, it, again, I didn't I didn't flesh them all out, but um, if it truly has heat mapping installed, I mean, you know, there, there's a cost to all this, all this stuff. So you start looking at all these multiple um, applications that you have to have, um, you know, uh, monthly fees for, and that stuff adds up quick. So anyway, um, yeah, you know, it's the ability, you have the ability to use multiple domains, uh, affiliate program. That's always nice uh, when you find something that you really like. Um, that's kind of been one of the struggles for me with ClickFunnels is, um, you know, if you're working with smaller local clients, like a lot of my clients are, you know, you're looking at charging them anywhere from maybe $400 on a really low end up to $1,000. And then you're looking at saying, okay, plus your ad spend, plus another thousand, you know, plus another hundred dollars, $97 for, um, for, for this. And then if you use active campaign, that's another sort of minimum of 15 bucks or, uh, that sort of thing. Obviously you can do it together a little bit cheaper. So. 
Um, I actually kind of manage some of my clients' funnels for them in ClickFunnels, in my ClickFunnels account. And that seems to work okay. My, my, obviously, my hope is at some point they'll have uh, sort of an agency account where I can split that stuff out and give my clients access to it. That would be super awesome, but it would kind of kind of kill their business model a little bit the way they're set up. So um, I like how you can drag things around on the screen, but also it, that that's sort of a pro and a con because – I'm struggling a little bit, like I showed you over here, to get everything kind of perfectly lined up. So that I think is a little bit, it's it's freeing, but it's sort of a little bit more work to make sure it's all lined up correctly and and that sort of thing. Um, all right, so the cons really, you know, the user experience, the user interface more specifically, um, is not quite as intuitive as ClickFunnels. Um, that could also be because I'm pretty used to click funnels now. Um, so I think that probably hurts it. I think if you're coming into builder all with no experience with any other builders, um, it'd be pretty easy once you got the lay of the land. Um, so, so anyway, um, uh, next thing it's unproven, pretty new. Um, you look in click funnels, private group, they've got like 80,000, 70, 80,000 people. Uh, builder all it's got maybe a thousand two thousand something like that so it's early on it's we're yet to see you know I'd, I'd hate to I'd hate to think you know worst case scenario I, I move my um, move all my funnels over there and then you know they run into issues it becomes sort of unsupported and then you're kind of stuck so um, so anyway uh, no affiliate management yet may not be important for most people um, we have uh, I actually have a couple of small affiliate programs um, I wouldn't say that I've really built that out yet, but if you're looking for that, they don't have that. I imagine that they probably will at some point. Um, and uh, the, the one little issue I've seen is so, so far I signed up a few days ago and I've gotten a, like three emails from the founder and two of those three emails have been like affiliate offers for a buddy of his software video something. And I, you know, <laughs> It just feels a little bit like, okay, we're going to put this software together and then we're going to get some people on it and then we're going to get affiliates. It's almost sort of this like multi-level marketing mindset where like, okay, let's just, let's get a product that, that kind of works out there. And then our real focus is getting people to sign up, getting them to become affiliates and then getting them to tell a million people. Um, you actually have to pay 97 bucks one time to be an affiliate. So, uh, which kind of fits in with like multi-level marketing, um, even though they're only two tier, you have to really be three tier to be multi-level, but, um, it just, I don't know. It feels a little bit weird. Um, it, it makes me, it, whenever I see that, I always feel like, are you really, are you really sold on the product or the mechanism for selling the product? And so if you're more in love with the mechanism of selling, which I feel like a lot of the, a lot of multi-level marketer, uh, marketing companies get that wrong. Obviously, it makes them a lot of money, but it's usually sort of this bell curve where they make a bunch of money and then it shoots right down just as fast, if not faster. Um, so, you know, some of the, and this is kind of off topic, but, you know, some, something like Isogenics, which is a product that people fall in love with and they put lots of money in trying to make that product really, really good so that people will continue to use it year after year after year after year. Um, then to me, that makes sense. So my hope is that these guys will build it that way. And we'll kind of continue to really make this a robust system um, and, and that sort of thing. Some things I'm a little bit neutral on is sort of the, the website or blog builder side of things. Man, I don't know. I think I think WordPress kind of has that figured out. Um, so uh, so anyway, and then email marketing. You know, if you're if you're building automated email sequence, I just think uh, there's a lot of really good tools out there. And I'm not real sold on either Actionetics or this uh, this tool, um, Builderall, for running your email campaigns. I like the idea of having it all in one place, but um, I just think some of the email platforms do such a good job um, of helping you just kind of plan it out and see it and, and everything. Um, and then, oh, one last thing uh, that I've not been able to find is I don't see any way to integrate Zapier. Um, which I think is a huge problem um, that I'm sure they're aware of and wanting to set that up as quickly as possible because you know once you can get that Zapier integration, you can just you, there's just so many applications that you can you can pass information with, so that'll give it a lot of flexibility. Again, you know it's early on. Um, I'm recording this 
you know, in late July, 2017, 